in this module we shall look at one model of islamic microfinance and that model is based on mudaraba just as a recap we started with conventional microfinance which is interest based and then we talked about some models of islamic microfinance we just listed them salam based mudaraba based murabha based interest free model which is primarily being practiced in pakistan and some other hybrid models are there as well in this module mudaraba based model would be discussed in case of microfinance islamic based on mudaraba the finance provider provides cash to the recipient on mudaraba basis as the name suggests i hope that by now you know what i mean by mudaraba so i am not going to give you the definition of mudaraba because i have actually defined it at least 10 times if not more so finance provider in this case is rabbul mal and the finance receiver is mudarib so the party receiving microfinance is actually mudarib and this is a very simple case of mudaraba one party providing capital and the other party using that capital to earn some profit which is shared between the two parties they share profit in accord in accordance with an agreed profit distribution ratio in the context of microfinance this is normally 50 50 it could be any other figure but it doesn't matter because uh, microfinance uses mudaraba in such a way that it becomes a compassionate arrangement between the provider of microfinance and the recipient of microfinance at the end when mudaraba is wound up then there is a very preferential treatment for the microfinance recipient as i would explain in a bit so this is a very simple generic model of islamic microfinance based on mudaraba in this case this cash is provided by islamic microfinance provider to the recipient so this aspect this leg of islamic microfinance is similar to the conventional microfinance which is actually cash oriented now this guy uses this money 50000 buys some merchandise does business does trading of the merchandise and generates an income revenue of 120000 per month now if the profit distribution ratio is 50-50 then 35000 should go to islamic microfinance provider and 35000 should be kept by the recipient this is a simple example in actual practice we don't have that kind of exaggerated figure but i'm just trying to highlight the concept in actual practice of mudaraba based islamic microfinance a bulk of the money a bulk of the profit is actually kept by the microfinance recipient in other words the mudarib and rabbul mal rabbul mal happen to be islamic microfinance provider they agree on a profit distribution ratio which is in favor of the 
recipient of microfinance. It could be 90 percent going to the recipient and 10 percent going to the Islamic microfinance provider or something like this one. So, in this case, 50,000 is provided as Mudaraba capital to the recipient who uses this money to do some business and generates uh, an income of 100,000. Out of 100,000, 50,000 is the cost. The remaining 50,000 profit is distributed between the microfinance provider which receives 5,000 and the recipient receives 45,000. If this continues like this one on a monthly basis, assuming that the microfinance provider keeps on receiving 5,000 on a monthly basis from the microfinance recipient, in 12 months, the Islamic microfinance provider would have received 60,000. So, 60,000 is enough for the Islamic microfinance provider to get his money back, the 50,000 which he extended to the microfinance recipient plus a return. If that happens, at that point in time, the Islamic microfinance provi provider would wind up the mudarba. And this would be a very special kind of winding up because the Islamic microfinance provider would say, you keep the 50,000 cash we provided to you as Mudarba capital. We are happy with 60,000 which has come back to us in the form of our share in the Mudarba profit. So, from this viewpoint, we can see that Mudarba arrangement is quite compassionate. If it was exploitative, then Islamic microfinance provider should have asked the recipient to return 50,000 initial Mudarba capital as well. However, because the objective is to help the targeted person, the Islamic microfinance provider based on Mudarba would be happy if their profit in the share is such that they retrieve their initial investment and earn some profit as well. 